The road that we will go down, though, is talking about the Kianasance, which is now bled back into the world of superhero movies, supposedly, as, you know, 17 years after the original Constantine, we're now getting a new Constantine movie with Keanu Reeves reprising his role as John Constantine, and at least for me, the crowd goes mild. Like, don't get me wrong, this is one of those movies that, for some reason, I have seen way too much. And here's the reason yeah. why. <laughs> uh, I worked at a TV station for about a year-ish, um, and for some reason, whenever they had like those made-for-TV movies, nine times out of ten, they are playing Constantine, and I have no idea why. So when I'm just sitting around the station... Constantine was almost always on in the background. So I've seen this movie way too much. Like Men in Black when I worked there. I've worked a lot of weird jobs. Um, boy, this is... I'm conflicted because yeah. I like Keanu a lot. He's a cool dude. Do I like his Constantine movie? Not particularly. Do I think it's a good representation of the character? Not particularly. No. <laughs> um, that being said, revisiting this 17 years later when the world of comic book movies is drastically different could be interesting. Maybe he falls in a vat of holy water and it turns him blonde and gives him an accent. I don't know. Uh, this is Keanu. He's, there's no way he's going to have an accent. He's going <laughs> to he's gonna bring back the British accent from Dracula and it's going to be good this time. Um <laughs> As someone that probably likes this movie a little bit more than me, Josh, Constantine is coming back. Yeah, no, I'm about where you are. <laughs> uh, I've seen I've seen uh, Constantine quite a few times. Um, it is like I enjoy it. It's a good time. Um, a good '90s fun, or early 2000s. Fun, 2005. Whatever. Yeah, um, it's fine. It's a thing that happens. Um, like you said, though, like I was really kind of hoping. Cause do we, we don't know if this is connected to the the current DC universe that's, at that's all? That's the question. Is it yeah. at all? Yeah, because like, because this has canceled the other dark properties that they were doing. They were doing a Constantine show yeah. and Adam Xanadu, and both of those are scrapped now. Correct. So it's kind of weird that this is what they're going with. Um, especially since I don't think there was any reference that in the original that the original was uh, connected to like some sort of DC universe at all. So. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting. I was kind of hoping if we were going to go back to John Constantine that um, it would be a he'd be <laughs> he'd be the 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 drunk uncle of Doctor Strange kind of thing going on uh, for the DC universe. And I, I just don't think that that's that's where they're going to go with. Will I see this? Yeah, I, I'm, st I'm, st I'm still going to on the off chance it. that your boy Edrigan <laughs> shows up. Exactly. Like, dude, if Edrigan showed up. Voiced uh, by Ron Perlman. I don't hate that. Uh, I don't hate that I, at all, actually. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you piqued my interest. <laughs> yeah, he's not doing a hell. He's not doing another Hellboy movie, but he'll do Edrigan. No, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's all the fans' fault that that didn't go well. Mm, no, you're thinking of you're thinking of no, the I know. David yeah, Harbor David, one. David. So, yeah, how this fits in a larger DC universe is going to be a question mark for sure, if at all. This could be its own pocket universe. It'll be like multiverse. Everything is canon and nothing is canon. Um, well, like I said, the comic book landscape is different now than it was in 2005. So maybe. There are more allusions to other things with the Justice League Dark. Have, I don't know, if we're going with an older John Constantine, I would think by proxy we would need an older Zatanna. Maybe Monica Bellucci as Zatanna, just to hook up with Keanu Reeves. Um, I don't. I would like this to lead to a Justice League Dark, but I don't think it will, just because anything Justice League Dark related other than the animated movies has been stuck in limbo forever yeah. now. Um, but yeah, I would like... I didn't get the sense that the original one really leaned into any form of comic material. It was very much just a generic angels and demons and mysticism yeah. type movie as opposed to drawing on some source material. I would like them to do more of that this time around. They're bringing back almost everyone from the original in terms of the creative team. Like, it's the same director. They're bringing back Keanu. Bring back Shia LaBeouf, uh, yes. dang it. Do him, it. Like, make him like the actual like sidekick. That would be so much fun. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Was there a House of Mysteries? I don't think the House of Mysteries no, was there, in the movie. 
Bring the house of mysteries in. Tech. Air quotes, massive air quotes. That the house of, of of mysteries. I think I heard that one. Yeah, that like I said, loud. people. <laughs> there's a lightning <laughs> storm happening right now. So uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, regardless, I. You know what? You know it's got Keanu in it, so I, I, I there's no way I'm going to like hate it. Um, I guess there was just a part of me that was really hoping that we were. I, yeah, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, I was really hoping we were getting away from like the the let's just do stuff to do stuff kind of vibe in DC. Um, but maybe we're wrong. Maybe this is the angle we want to go. Uh, who knows? So I know. Well, with, especially with the Flash, everyone's just like, "Well, just bring in Grant Gustin." I know there's a lot of people with this that they're when they talk about Constantine, they're just like, "Well, just get the CW guy." I think it was Matt. No. Matt. Ryan, I'm looking it up right. Something Where like was that? It? Yeah. Oh, what was the guy's name? I'm blanking. I'm good though. Like I Matt, liked yeah, him, Matt but Ryan. like I thought he was pretty good for a CW budget. He also, yeah. looks a lot more of the part and acts a lot more of the part. Yes, um, but. This, frankly, guys, the only reason this is getting made is because it's Keanu. If it wasn't mm -hmm. Keanu Reeves in the original Constantine, I don't think this is happening. This is just an odd choice for sure. Just given the state of DC, you know, everything right now, they're just like, well, you know, yeah. you know, that movie that was kind of popular 17 years ago. Let's just, just bring that back. Well, especially after canning Batgirl and and kind of a lot of the other movies kind of being in question like to just all of a sudden go like as much as I I do enjoy Constantine to just kind of pull a movie from the early 2000s and go it was kind of popular let's do it anyway uh it feels weird it feels very weird 